Hey, what is up guys? Today's video we will look at the top 3 decks after the balance changes, after the balance changes meta changing update and I'm gonna show you them and we're gonna play them. Quick note before we're starting into the decks, um, I'm gonna record it Sunday so right now there's still like the all matters happening but I'm 100% sure this deck will pop off and it will be the best decks inside of Clash Royale, the new 27th season. So if you guys don't wanna miss any videos in the future on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, you Using Creator Good Morton. If you guys buying the battle passes, highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that and subscribing to the channel. Also, and ring and activate the notification bell because the next couple of days I'm gonna show different meta decks and I'm just so excited for the new Clash Royale meta. And I would say we are gonna jump to deck number one. And deck number one is gonna be this really, really cheap Hunter Warlock cycle deck. Hunter gets a buff and Warlock also gets a buff, so I'm really, really sure. This deck will be back, I think like a half a year ago, before e giant was really meta, because this deck really struggles against e giant and also like all the Tesla Fireball decks. I feel like this deck will be back and will be better than ever, especially Hunter and Warlock with a cheap cycle because of the Fireball bait and more poison will be played, 1% because of the poison buff will be really, really good. So I would say we're gonna jump the game. Let's go. Here we go, here in the first game, and let's see if we can take some ups. Even in the old matter with this, Royal Hawks are going to be absolutely strong. I'm 1% sure, also because not just the fact that the Royal Hawks got buffed, also the fact that we're just gonna go opposite lane because I don't want him golem um, in front of the Night Witch. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's gonna do it anyway, so it's, uh, it's a golem to play. I just hope they're not gonna be there anymore after the balance changes coming inside of Clash Royale. Um, also, like the, they're gonna be less fireball, as I said, because of the Goblin Jewel, um, Tesla deck nerf and because of the poison buff for sure but also it's going to be less bomber so this is actually great so we're just going for skeletons here and as I said the first hunter shoot gets so like first hunter shot gets buffed so we're just going for a perfect delivery here and we are getting like really clean defense on that and if you're striking against golem this is the deck you want to play with really cheap cycle so you're able, able to get the hunter down which is really really great against the golem especially when the first attack gets buffed also elect your spirit against all the bats and Roy delivery just to clean up troops and ice gum to kite in the air. Like, I'm 100% sure if we're gonna see less Roy Delivery. Um, did I say like Roy Delivery like 10,000 times? I mean, I mean, Goblin Duel. That's what I said. Goblin Duel will get enough, not Roy Delivery. I'm just wrong if I said it before. I don't really know. I can't really remember. But if um, there's gonna be less Goblin Duel, because I still think Goblin Duel is still a viable card. It's not as good as it used to be, uh, used to be before. For sure not, because it gets a nerf. So it would be really weird if it's um, still on the same level. But the great thing is that. Yeah, this will be really, really solid. Um, and Ice Golem kiting all the stuff. And this is a perfect defense. So we're doing really great. And as I said, Bomba will also get a nerf. And I think it will be less played, especially in all these annoying Golem decks because Nightwatch gets nerfed. So all the counter decks, also Electro Giant gets nerfed. So I think Royal Hawks, I would even say with just the Hunter buff, this deck would be insane. But also the Royal Hawks get a buff, so this is even better. So I'm just going on opposite lane. He is just going to go. That was kind of predictable. At 1-0-3, this is the perfect golem timing, so you can kind of expect that. If you're facing a really great golem player, you're always trying to go golem first play. <laughs> and go golem at 1-0-3. Uh, so we just go for an ice golem here. And as you guys will see, Electro Spirit is absolutely insane. So we just go for a delivery here. We're also going to kite an Electro Spirit here. And the thing we're gonna do now is just gonna go with that. We're just gonna cycle boy here and we're just gonna go for another hunter and the hunter cycle will be back, especially against Larvon decks because I could also think with the golem like the Night Witch nerf that Larvon will be really really good. Um, and this deck absolutely destroys Lava. You can, you can just pressure 24 7. Delivery is doing really, really great against Lava on. And Hunter, like this bit in general. Look at the cycle. Three Hunters down. Did you ever see it in Clash Royale? So if you're looking for a really great, cheap cycle deck. This is the deck you want to play in the next Clash Royale season. After the update, this deck is absolutely crushing everything and will be even better after the bench changes with the Hunter buff and with the Royal Hawks buff. GG's, well played, taking it up. Here we go, guys. Here we are at deck number two, and I'm just so excited to show you this minor old school wall breaker deck against a kind of old school deck. But just I put like personally, I prefer the Valkyrie right now because the Knight got a, uh, got a nerf like three months ago. So I just feel like Valkyrie, especially with more Royal Hawks being in the meta, will be the better choice in this deck. And also putting the snowball instead of the 
like used lock because I just feel like snowball will be really good and especially with all the lava on decks coming back just getting a knockback down and um, I just feel like snowball could be good also a lot of people will use bats again because fire spill gets nerfed so I really think with the snowball buff I think the snowball does better in the meta and also poison with the slow is going to be the perfect combination so I'm 100% thinking minor poison will be coming back and I think b red will be as happy as me so I would say let's jump to the game with this new minor poison warbreaker control deck here we go next game um good luck i'm personally a really big fan of starting just with wallbreaker because the optimal play he could do for like a same or like a even elixir trade is just going for skeletons plus something on the right he has a level 7 electro spill which is kind of interesting i don't really know why he's under leveled um He's using a knight. So if I see this kind of deck, it could be an Expo Psychic deck. A lot of you guys are asking, is Expo gonna be dead? Is Expo gonna be bad? Can you still play Expo with the Tesla? And I think Expo got a huge nerf because in different decks, the Tesla, so by the way, just going in for this, and this will be even better with the Bomb Tower buff um, because Bomb Tower will be just like being a really great card because I feel like in an Expo deck, you don't really play the Tesla reactive. If you, if you play a Goblin Drill deck, that's why I still think some Goblin Drags Drill decks might be viable. I'm not 100% sure though. Or like in Hawk decks, you play the Tesla as an answer to a card. But if you play Expo Cycle, you most of the time, if you feel like you're facing some decks like Giant, you face like decks like... um different minor control decks you always want to go in for the tesla in the middle and just try to stack them get them down and make the opponent pay punish them for that so this is why i think expo might be one of the um losers if you can say it like that from the balance chains on general any type of expo deck just because of the explanation with the tesla placement in general so how you want to play the matchup? Normally, it's like really, really, you should never go in for minor on the tower and single next time. This is not what you want to play. And by the way, I'm really looking forward to the number one pushes. Um, soon I will try to push with new decks and with new meta decks to number one. So let me know in the comment section which deck you guys want to see um, back in the meta, which deck with poison. Let me for sure know and I will try to push with the deck or like suggestion of you guys um, to number one in the world. And make also sure to like the comment up that I can see it. And it's going to be higher in the comment section that I, doesn't, that I don't... Um, they don't miss it, so we really appreciate it. So as I said, I don't really want to go mine on the tower and single X time. I just did it here because single X time was always almost over and I have like almost solid card uh, in hand. But what I most of the time do if they're a great expo player, they always want to stack Teslas and they want to be a bait me going for mine on the tower because when i go mine on the tower i can't really kill the expo properly especially with the tesla on the map and then maybe at first i'm going to go in with bomb tower expo a uh, bomb tower plus valkyrie they're able to kill um they're going to kill the expo but he gets a, pu a huge possible x rate especially with tesla on the map and they're just going to out cycle me so most of the time when i go in with single and mine on, on the tower i'm just going to lose so this time i'm just going to go for the snowball because he might play skeletons no he's not fortunate for us that the Oh, that's a really great poison. That's not what you expect. So he's for sure not the best exo player, but I still think this is like one of the matchups or like one of the like matchups. Yeah, for sure matchups with the deck, which I can show you how you have to play it because it's not easy, especially with the warp uh, with the snowball doing less damage against the expo. So I always like to go in for a wall breaker split in the back because it gives you the opportunity to cycle back to another wall breakers before he has Tesla in hand and he's most of the time not expecting that. So I'm just gonna go for a snowball to finish it off in case he's gonna lock. He's just gonna save a lock. So. Also, if you go Warbreaker, the bridge is just gonna go straight up into his troops. And right now, I just need to cycle. I always wanna have my um, Valkyrie in hand. So, in double and triple X time, you can start going in with four minor poison on the tower. I prefer to go in with the minor on the expo safe, um, as long as I don't have a tank down. If I have a tank down, I would like to go in also for the minor on the tower and just get a poison down. Back then, when minor did more damage, it was completely better, or like had more HP, I don't really know, I can't really remember. But we're just gonna go for a bomb tower prediction here because he's gonna go for his expo, and this should be a GG swap played. Really easy dub. I think he did really a ton of mistakes, but this is just like a matchup which I really like to show you guys because it just shows how good this deck is if you played right i think it's one of the higher skill cap decks because you need to make the right decision but if you're looking for a great minor control deck in the new clash royal meta that's one percent the deck you want to play ggs well played taking it up this is what i want to see so you need to be careful one second here wait 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 um we just got snowball here make sure we're just gonna poison we do another mine on the tower and we're gonna take it up ggs were played was a bit close at the end but against any type of expo deck, even, or like especially after expo or like Tesla getting nerfed, this matchup will be even better. Here we go, guys. Here we have with deck number three. And this will be a deck which not the people, like a ton of people were talking about. This is, in my opinion, the best, or like maybe it could be the best deck because 
Graveyard Poison Snowball. With the Poison Snowball, with the Snowball buff, could be absolutely insane, especially with the Bomb Tower buff. Musketeer, like, for baiting out the Poison. Goblins get also buff. I don't really see it too many people talking about the Goblins, but I could also think the Goblins doing a comeback. I prefer Knight in a stack because I just feel like with the Bomb Tower, you could also use Valkyrie, but I prefer the four, uh, the free Elixir tank. I just feel like it's better, better, like, combinating in a deck because I feel like with four Elixir, it could be a bit too expensive, but you can also sub in a Valkyrie if you're struggling against any type of bait decks but because i have the baby dragon and the snowball i'm feeling like kind of fine against it yeah as i said baby dragon as a tank is really really good you could also put in the ice wizard or like bomber plus and um, baby dragon combination with the tornado but i feel like snowball poison is actually doing enough on defense so i would say let's jump to the game and let's destroy the opponent now, i'm just saying this deck look really really good right now but it will be even better when you guys see the video hopefully i hope supercell puts out the balance changes already I hope they're not missing up, uh, messing up and put them at uh, Tuesday because then my video would be screwed. So let's go into the game. Here we go. Here on the game against Serto Villa. Super Warriors. Good luck, buddy. So the goblins will spawn different. I don't really know if it makes a huge difference, but I mean, for two Alexa, baiting out spells is always good for a graveyard deck because it's kind of a type of a bait deck. So our opponent is going to go in for um, that. So unfortunately, we used our knight and we used our. Goblins, so we need to go in for Musketeer. We're just gonna snowball here. Why we're gonna snowball this? Because I just wanna make sure the Magic Archer will go directly on top of my um, on top of my Knight. So my Musketeer gets one shot. How should we play the matchup? How are you gonna be a great Graveyard player? You need to be patient. This is the number one key if you're playing any type of Graveyard deck. And if you face Bridgeburn with this deck, you are chilling. Bridgeburn is one of the better matchups for you because of the Bomb Town. As I said, like I'm gonna say that every game, Bomb Tower will be even better in the balance range, and Bomb Tower will be crushing all of the like Pekka, Butcher Nex, Bridge Spam decks. Bomb Tower will be really insane. So he's just gonna decide to drop his pack on the back. So I'm really feeling comfortable graveyarding. As I said, you wanna be patient, but if your opponent is going for a really big amount of tank in the back, you wanna punish them, especially with Musketeer as a single target damage in hand and also Goblins. If I wouldn't have Musketeer and Goblins in hand, I would have never done that. So um, we just go for Musketeer here. He can, he can, he can go in for Ben. That's completely fine because now we can just wait here and now we're gonna wait, play with goblins here. We wanna um, support that and this is a really easy clean defense. He can go in for the zap, that's completely fine, but he still needs to defend the musketeer and he can't punish us opposite lane. So he went with a pack in the back, he was like, okay, he was kind of baiting me playing the graveyard because, okay, if he's going in for the graveyard, I'm just gonna punish him, I'm gonna tower trade him, I'm gonna do pressure on both sides. But the thing we're gonna do right now is kind of surprising him. He messed up the barbarian at uh, the... the the house is called the battle ram and a lot of people would have ran for one bomb tower here but i just decided to go in for baby drink plus nova because you also have counter push potential and the most important like important thing uh, we like about graveyard decks is having a counter push because then you can graveyard and yes we spent six for four but we also had a full baby drink which he had to defend he couldn't defend because he had a really awkward cycle so he had to use a magic archer there so He's just going to go for a Pekka, and now it's time to go in for a Musketeer in the back. Yes, he can poison or fireball there. We still don't know which deck he, uh, like, which card he exactly played. But we are just cycling back, because our cycle at the same time is really, really cheap. So he's going for fireball. This is completely fine for us. We're just going for a Bomb Tower here. And even if he goes opposite lane, we have the Snowball to push into side, which gives us like really big advantage. It's way better in this, in this deck, especially, as the Barbarian Bow. So we're just going for this. Um, Goblin's doing a really good job. And you guys see the Bomb Tower is really putting in work we just got snowball because i was kind of scared of the band to connect so we just go cycle musketeer we're just gonna oh that what that shouldn't have been a bomb toy but i wanted to poison the tower what's going on morton but we can just go in for a baby ring here we're taking it up gg's well played and this are in my opinion top three secret decks they might they're not might be secret after the video which you should play in a new casual season if you guys don't want to miss any decks in the future on this channel don't forget to subscribe also using critical mod is highly appreciated let me know in the comment section which deck i should use to push to number one in the world live and i'm out don't forget to use critical morton peace out thanks for watching and goodbye guys